Welcome back to the Bean Shed, folks. This is going to be part two of the EcoFlow generator video series that we've got going on. Uh, this will focus on the setup of the actual solar panels here, uh, which will allow you to you know, charge if the power is out in case of emergency, something like that. Now, we finally got a bright and sunny day here. I've had this thing for maybe about two weeks now, and we've just had a series of unfortunate days weather-wise with clouds and rain and some snow even. So... This is uh, not the first time that I'm actually going to be setting this thing up. I did go through it once before and uh, just kind of test it out. It's not the easiest thing ever, actually. So if you're planning on you know, ordering one of these or uh, if you already have it and you're going to be setting it up, go ahead and watch till the end here. Uh, it's going to be a lot of useful information for you. First step, of course, is to simply unzip the panels like so. And you can see this is a nice convenient carrying case. Panels are inside and uh, pretty easy to access here. So we'll take this out. Okay, now as you can see, this whole thing probably weighs maybe, I don't know, 10 or 15 pounds or so. Uh, so it's doable with one person, but if you got a second set of hands, you know, it's only going to make it a little bit easier. It is a pretty cool design, I will say. It's a little bit tricky to set up, but it's a cool design where the actual case here acts as the base for the solar panels themselves. Uh, the case has one side that's hard. You can see it's got some cardboard or something a little bit stronger in there. And then one side that's, uh, you know, soft, sort of malleable. And so the hard side will be the top, and the soft side will go on the bottom here. And this is actually what holds up the solar panels, uh, you know, when you're going to be charging. Now, one other quick note before we get started here is that this comes with these little uh, black clips. Uh, there's four corners, of course, here. You've got uh, the top corner and the bottom corner on each side. And so you just want to start by hooking these clips on to the actual, uh, you know, fabric here, which will, you know, ultimately keep the uh, solar panels standing upright. So I found that if you're by yourself, the easiest way to do this here is uh, set the case up in the direction in which the sun is. Of course, here we got the sun coming from this way. Then you'll take your panels, open them up like so. Uh, this is the side that should be facing the sun. You can see this has the, uh, you know, the power cables on that side as well. So keep them in front of you here. I find that's a bit easier. And then bring those and plop them right in front of the case. Now here's where it gets a little bit tricky, again, if you're doing this by yourself. So what you'll want to do is lift up the case. Again, this is the hard, the hard side of the case, the soft side's on the ground. I like to kind of stand in front of it a little bit here like so, so you can actually keep uh, the hard side up. Makes it a little bit easier to set this thing up. Grab the solar panels and put them towards the front of the soft side on the ground. And once you got this set up like so, what, what you'll want to do is take a step back, keep this held up here, if you will, and then we're actually going to lean the panels back and attach these clips on either side to these little holes that you got right here on top. So do this very carefully, slowly but surely. So we're leaning it back here. The clips go through the holes. Both sides. And now the top part is done. And you can see it sort of just leans back like that on the top. Now the idea is that you've got the clips on the top and then you want to have these clips as well clipped in on the bottom. I don't find that entirely necessary, uh, you know, depending on, on the situation with wind or anything like that. But just to be safe, we'll throw them in there as well. You've got to be kind of careful with this, lifting this up again with one person. It's not the easiest. But just go ahead and clip those in like so. And there you have it. So you can see on these top clips, 
in these uh, you know fabric pieces here, there's kind of a, a bit of stress actually. Um, it's pulling it kind of tight. It's not you know going to break it, I don't think. But you've got that on both sides, and that's what kind of keeps us as an angle. Uh, if you need to angle it, you know, up or down more, you can simply pull the front down to angle it up, or scoot it back, uh, you know, to angle it uh, sort of down more, depending on where the sunlight's hitting. Next step is we'll take a look at the actual connectors here. There is attached to the solar panels, there's a male adapter and a female adapter. Um, we'll find the cabling here that came with it. it. Comes in this nice little box. We'll take this out and you can see on the cabling here, we have a male and a female adapter as well. Now it's pretty easy to tell here on the uh, male adapter of the actual cabling, you can see a little plus right there. And on the female side, you've got a little minus on that side. On the opposite sides, kind of hard to tell here, but there's a little triangle in the place of the, uh, of the plus and minus on both the male and the female uh, side of things. And once again, triangles on the same side, plus to minus. And to make this super plug and play, all you do is find the, uh, the port box here, if you will, open that up, and then you simply take the orange port, and the orange connector, put it in the orange port, like so, and just like that, we are charging. And if you can see there, we're at 27% battery. Looks like we've got about 86 watts going in at the moment. Uh, it's about maybe 4.30 or so here this afternoon, uh, middle of December. So we don't have insanely strong solar input, but uh, we'll check back here in a couple minutes and see how we're doing. I think it's probably a good idea to keep the generator out of the sun if possible. So we'll go ahead and wrap this around back, put it in the shade, and we'll, uh, we'll give this, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes or so, and uh, check back in and see how it's doing. So it's been 30 minutes exactly. Uh, not the best time of day to do this. The sun's going down. There's, uh, you know, there's some shade going on here with the trees. We've been charging for exactly 30 minutes. We've gone up 1%, and at this point, there's only 20, uh, 20 watts going in. So it is working, uh, but, of course, this is better to be done uh, when there's you know proper sunshine, middle of the day kind of thing. I had work, couldn't get out, so here we are. But point being is that it does work, and uh, I'm excited to try it you know, when there's a lot more, a lot more sun coming in. All right, folks, thanks again for watching. Uh, this was a successful experiment in a sense that uh, we do know that it's actually getting a charge here slowly but surely. This is not the best time of day to be doing this, of course. So what I think I'll do is um, make another video maybe a month down the road here, do a couple more charges between now and then, see how it works out, and uh, you know, give a full, you know, honest review at that point. I hope this was helpful, though, in terms of setting it up. Again, not the easiest thing to do, maybe not the best design ever, but uh, for as compact as it can be, uh, you know, in the case there, I'm, I'm actually happy with it. So thanks very much for watching. Go ahead and subscribe if you enjoy this kind of stuff. Let me know what else you'd like to see, and we'll see you on the next one.